Hello, welcome to the Worldwide Center of Math. Today, I'll be going over this week's problem of the week. For the full problem and the solution transcript, there will be a link in the description of this video. Uh, so this week, you decided to become a rabbit and cow farmer. Uh, and unfortunately, you decide to keep them in the same pen, and they start fighting over the grass. Uh, and therefore, a competition ensues. Uh, now, the growth of both populations of rabbits and cows are given by this system of differential equations. And the problem asks you to find the fixed points and determine their stability for this system. So to begin, we have to find the fixed points of the system, which the fixed points occur when you have um, r dot and c dot both equal to 0, 0. So you just need to find values of r and c such that both these equations equal 0. So starting off, you have the trivial fixed point of 0, 0, um, which is just when you don't have any cows or rabbits, there's going to be no growth. So that's our first fixed point. Um, now we can set r equal to 0 and then see if we can set this equal to 0 without also setting c equal to 0. So if this is equal to, so if r is equal to 0, we have c dot is equal to um, c times 4 minus 2c. So if we set c equal to 2, this will be equal to 0, and therefore c dot will be equal to 0. So we have one more fixed point. Um, so we can do the same thing and set c equal to 0 and see if we can find another value of r. So we have r dot equal to r times 3 minus r. Therefore, if we have r equal to 3, this is equal to 0. Um, so we have 3, 0. Oh, by the way, we're going to have the x... Um, the x side be r and the y value be c. And lastly, there is one more fixed point here. So now if we set um, 0 equal to 3 minus r minus 2c, which is this side, we find that um, 2c is equal to 3 minus r. Therefore, we can plug that into here, and we get 0 is equal to 4 minus 2r. Actually, sorry. 3 minus r is equal to 4 minus 2r. We can move things around, and we find that r is equal to 1. Then we plug it back into C, and we have C dot is equal to um, C times 4, 2 times 1, so minus 2, minus 2C, and we find that C dot is equal to 0 when C is equal to 1 also. So our last fixed point is at 1, 1. Uh, so, now that we have our fixed points, we need to determine the stability. And the stability means, um, so if we have, say, the fixed point 1, 1, means that if you're around the fixed point, do you move towards the fixed point, or do you move away from the fixed point? Uh, so you can do that by just testing a bunch of points around each fixed point, or you can do it analytically, which is how we're going to go about this. And to do that, we're going to use the Jacobian matrix. Um, so with when you, well, first let's get the Jacobian. So first we find um, x dot partial of x. So oh, so in this case we finding um, partial r dot over partial r, and so 
So replacing the x's and the y's with r's and c's, we get this. And so now we can evaluate all of these. I'll just do it out. Um, it's pretty simple to find the derivatives of these. So we have the Jacobian equal to this. And now what we do is we plug in each fixed point into the Jacobian, um, find its eigenvalues, and from there we can determine the stability of this matrix. So let's start with um, the trivial one, 0, 0. If we plug that in, we get a Jacobian of 3004. Zero, zero, uh, it's very easy to find the eigenvalues of this. We find that eigenvalues are just 3 and 4. Now, um, when you evaluate the Jacobian matrix and you get the eigenvalues, if they're both positive, you know the fixed point is unstable. If they're both negative, you know the fixed point is stable. And if one is positive and one is negative, then it's uh, half stable, or that the fixed point is a saddle node. Uh, and that will become clear when I draw the diagram of this. But since both of these are positive, we find that this is stable, uh, unstable, sorry, since both of these are positive. Uh, moving on to 0, 2, we get a Jacobian of negative 1, 0, negative 4, um, negative um, negative 4. And therefore, we get eigenvalues. Um, since this is 0, we know that the eigenvalues are just going to be these two. So we have eigenvalues of negative 1, negative 4. Both are negative, so we end up with this being stable. For Fixed point three zero. We do this all again. We get negative three. We get zero. Negative six. Negative two. Um, this means that the eigenvalues again, since this is zero, the eigenvalues are just going to be these. Are negative three, negative two. Uh, both are negative again. This is stable. And lastly, we have one, the fixed point one one. Oops, sorry. One one. Uh, for this, we get negative one, negative two, negative two, negative two. Uh, so now we have to evaluate these eigenvalues. Um, we can do this using this nifty formula, where uh, tau is the trace, so that is just the sum of the values on the diagonal, and delta is the determinant. Um, I'm not going to do it out for you. I'll just write down that this is negative 3 halves plus or minus um, one half times root 17. Uh, therefore, one's going to be positive, one's going to be negative. We have a saddle node. Now, 
we've done everything the problem asked. However, I will draw out the phase portrait of this system. What that means is basically it'll show if you start at any point, it'll show you generally where it's going to go. Uh, you can figure out the phase portrait by also calculating the eigenvectors. Um, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to draw it for you. And you get something that looks like this. So this is a half stable point. This is a stable point. This is a stable point, and this is not stable. So we end up with something that looks like this. Uh, and as you can see, what's most likely going to happen is you're either going to end up with a bunch of cows or you're going to end up with a bunch of rabbits. It's um, unlikely that you'll end up with this nice equilibrium uh, of cows and rabbits. And with that, that is this week's problem of the week. To see more problems like this, you can check out our playlist here. To subscribe to our YouTube channel, you can click right here. To go to the center of math.org, you can click here. And if you're on a mobile device, there is an eye in the top right hand corner of the screen with all of these same links. Thank you very much for watching.